Hey there, welcome back, I'm the FNAC, and in today's episode, we're talking about Ty Ty Washington. God damn, I love this kid. He's fast. Fast as all living hell. He makes winning plays. He takes pride in his defense. He just does it all, and he does it well. First off, his speed makes him a great defender. He can keep up with anybody, first off. Secondly, his he just knows what play to make. When you look at him on offense, he doesn't he doesn't force it. it when he's in pick and roll it, situations, he tends to make the pass. He knows when to lob it. He knows what angle he needs to pass it. He knows when the defense is collapsing on him and when he needs to kick it out for a big man to pop a pop an easy midi from about 12 feet. Which is something he does a lot, actually, which I was really surprised with. Because I don't usually see players like this that are so good with their finishing game, but they don't necessarily rely on it. Where he drives to the basket, but he just does it so he can collapse the defense, so he can get his man open. He doesn't... He doesn't... Do he doesn't play outside of himself. He takes shots he knows he can make because he's a good shooter. I mean, really, I was really impressed watching some of his um, highlights, especially with his mid-range shot, which was something that I was heavily impressed with. I don't see many, pl or I haven't seen many players um, utilize the ball in traffic and combined with the handles he has, I haven't seen many players able to make the kind of middies he's able to make, um, collapse the defense the way he's collapsed it, and really just able to get off any shot he wants. He sort of does this great thing with his finishing ability where it collapses the defense with him doing minimal effort. And it's re it's really cool to watch because it, with when he's such a great shooter... Because he definitely projects to be a good NBA shooter, given his ability to do it at the college level right now. Especially his mid-range ability. I'm still not entirely sold on his three-point shot, but his mid-range shooting is beautiful, beautiful stroke. He can, he can start driving, pull it back with a hezzy. He can pull it back, pop it. He knows all sorts of moves within that mid-range area. And it's really fun to watch. Very reminiscent of a lot of other crafty players like Kobe Bryant when he would fade over people in the mid-range, except we're not watching Washington fade, we're watching him drifting to the side and taking a moving midi. It's it's really it's really hard to describe, but if you watch highlights of his game, it's just so it's so interesting to watch. And even for people that aren't necessarily excited by mid-range shooting, this this guy will make you excited about mid-range shooting. He just has an aura to him. And you can tell based on the way he supports his teammates with his passing and his defense that he's not there to he's not there for his own buckets. He's not there to try to play himself up. He's there to win games. And he's going to do everything he can to make sure that happens. And you can see that on the court with the amount of effort he puts into defense. The offensive IQ he has with hitting, an open, with hitting open men. And really only taking shots that he knows he can has it in his arsenal. Um, it doesn't really feel forced when he takes his shots Um He's only he is averaging over 40% from the field and which I mean especially for a point guard is really good efficiency. And then when you combine that with the fact that it's not like he's averaging a huge number of points, he's only averaging 12. But that sort of works with the sort of thing around him where he just doesn't try to he doesn't really care about his individual scoring numbers. What he really cares about is getting his getting his team to victory and you see that not again as i said earlier with the amount of effort he puts in the defense the playmaking he makes uh, and you know the speed he has that isn't something that you just happen upon it's clear that he's been putting effort in the gym 
it's clear that he's going to continue putting effort in the gym. He's going to do everything he can to make sure his team can win as much as they can. He's, he's just based on these small factors alone. It's clear that he's a real team player. He's not really there for his own individual ego, which is really, really great thing for a young guy to have such of a veteran presence to him. And I'm really excited for as he continues to get older, he continues to develop, because right now he's developing pretty, pretty fast as only a freshman to have this kind of ability as a scorer, as a playmaker, as a defender, and be projected as a lottery pick in the draft. It's, it's got to be special. And I'm definitely very excited to see as he gets older, as he develops a better f sense for the game. He really comes into his own, maybe working to be a little more confident in some of the shots he takes. Obviously, he is very confident in all the ones he takes, but really just rounding it out so that he has a weapon for every situation. Really, for him, it's just continuing to develop. I don't see a situation where he isn't at least a solid NBA player. I don't expect him to be... A superstar right off the bat. I don't expect him to be an all-star caliber player right off the bat. I think he certainly has the potential to be an all-star in the future, but I don't think that's something that really matters for him, and I think that's a good thing, particularly for his projection at the next level. I think he's going to be a really, I think he's going to be a really good player as a spark plug, as not even a spark plug. I think he's going to be a second unit leader, um, the kind of guy that when you're when you're when your starting lineup needs a rest and you need somebody you trust to go out there and to keep the keep the good times going. Um, when your guys need rest and you might be down a little bit, you need someone to rally the crew. I, I think that he could definitely be that guy. I think that he could definitely develop into that kind of role. I, I think that's going to lead to a lot of winning basketball. I think it's certainly going to lead to him winning a lot of games. And if he continues on that path, I see an NBA championship in his future. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. And if you enjoyed, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.